All right, Jesus is Lord. The word works. Restore. Restore. I've got at least three or four messages on restore. Write me today. Frank Matching, Post Office Box, 26, Cropwell. Get these two pages of scriptures, these 15 steps of restoration. Have them, read them, study them, meditate in them. Now watch this. Seed time and harvest. You're believing for restoration? Plant a seed. You're believing for money? Plant a seed. I'm believing God for a million dollars and I don't have a hundred thousand. I understand that. But you got ten. Now a farmer, if he's going to plant just an acre, he don't have to have a whole lot of cotton seed, but he's going to plant a hundred acres, he's got to have a truckload. Plant a seed. You're believing for your marriage to be restored? Watch this. And somebody else that you know is struggling in their marriage? Pick up the phone, call them, plan it first. Call them, say, look, my husband and I have decided to keep your children for the weekend, and we have rented a hotel room down at the beach or wherever, and we would like for y'all to go down there on our dime, spend the weekend, and just have a good time. That's planting a seed into their life. You need tires for your car, and you don't have $500 for tires for your car? Well, find somebody that just needs one tire. Buy them one tire. That's seed toward the harvest that you want to reap. You know somebody that, uh, you know, they're physically sick. This is what the Bible very plainly teaches in James. They're physically sick. The Bible says, pray ye one for another that you may be healed. Um, now watch. I know somebody that has a child that is, that's, that's sick. Well, I'm going to pray for that child so that my children don't get sick. Well, you ain't got any children. Oh, yes, I do. I have four. Now they're grown but I can still harvest off of the seed that I sow praying for this other person's child that is sick. That's seed time and harvest. And it's in James that says, pray ye one for another that you may be healed. So you got a little symptom in your body. You know, the doctors have said you got this or that. Well, find somebody else that's got a problem and say, can I pray for you? And I mean, get serious about this. I'm not talking about just, well, be healed in the name of Jesus. I'm talking about you take that in your prayer time, maybe spend a day fasting before you pray, and you pray for them, believing God for the miracle that they need in their body so that you can have the miracle that you need in your body. So you can always find a place to sow seed. Now watch this. You're believing God for restoration of maybe, you know, millions of dollars that the devil has stolen from you. Sow seed. Find somebody that you can help. Find somebody that you can help his ministry in. There's seed time and harvest. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Well, brother, I don't have anything to sow a seed. No, you've always got something. I mean, if it's nothing but go cake a, uh, you know, bake a cake and take it to the neighbors. Maybe that's a seed because they don't have much. Uh, I remember back, oh, it's been 40 years ago, Pat and I were so broke we couldn't pay attention. We didn't have any idea what we were going to do. We couldn't get out of the hole that we'd in. been in it for a long time. And so we knew another pastor friend of ours that had a church across town, and he was struggling, man. I mean, he was really badly struggling. And so I said, what? we got in the freezer passes well i got one package of chicken i got a few beans or peas i said let's do this let's call terry and have him and his family come over let's feed them our last meal and we called them over and they came over man as far as they knew buddy we had food galore and we, that was the last a dab of food that we had in the house we fixed it up for them we called them over we entertained them um, we sowed that seed and by the next day I had enough money to go grocery shopping. The point is, seed time and harvest works. A farmer is not going to get a crop if he doesn't plant seed. So if you're going to believe God for restoration, you need to plant seed because that's the only way you got to reap. And I've run over again today. Restore, restore. You're going to have to do your part. Got to do his part. And you'll have so much you won't be able to stand it. Got to go. Remember, Jesus, he's Lord. Word works.